Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bronze League Gaming, and we're coming at you with another StarCraft II replay. I am Phobos. And I am Gent. And we're bringing you a 2v2 today between the players... Oh, I can't bring up the name screen. Oh, you can't... Oh, that's sad about that. Anyway, between the players... Uh, Simaholic... Stimaholic. Stimaholic. Which and is he's weird, because he's Protoss. Yeah, I was just about to notice that, too. This I like. This I like. And his teammate Kim Hyung Jun. Thank you for this replay submission, Kim Hyung Jun. I appreciate it very much. Uh, thank you again. And that's team one in the bottom right corner. Or uh, team two if you want to look at it from left to right or bottom, top to bottom. That's true. And then our opponents we have APZ. Apps. Abs. Apps. 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 Double. It's hard to pronounce. It's hard to say that without adding the s. Apps. And his teammate, Infurion X. Infurion Ox. We'll call him Ox. Ox. Yeah. We have Ox Apps versus Kim. Stimaholic and Stim Kim. And Kim. Kim. Yeah, Stim and Kim. Six minute rush again. Ooh, that doesn't sound like a very promising game. Uh, but let's <laughs> see where it takes us. Looks like we got the scouts moving out across the map. Scout for both players on team... I'm going to call this team two, actually. Just to spite <laughs> you, Jen. You have the overlord moving out. A frontal wall going up for Kim Hyung Jun and his Protoss teammate. And the Zerg player on the other team, team one, how you like to put it, or team two, I mean. <laughs> they are not six-pulling. Obviously, don't think he is. not at this point. Yeah, it's already too late for that. Yep, he's just going normal. I think a lot of Zerg in 2v2, they get stuck playing 1v1 builds. They always like to do early expand, and then their spawning pool win. In 2v2, it's actually better to hold off on your expansions for a little bit, and you just want to get units out, because if, you're, if your opponent's doing an early attack and you have no units to defend, yeah, then your early expand is just useless. Screwed. So you kind of want to get units out. Good scouting can help you determine whether or not it's better to get that expansion. But we don't see anything crazy coming out. Just normal. It, there we do have the expansion coming down for Abs. Apps. Abs. Whatever his name is. And is that is purple of Protoss on team one? Yes, that is correct. Two? Okay, so we This team. This <laughs> yeah. This team. The other team will be that team. <laughs> this team and that team. <laughs> All right, first Marine is out, but he's going the uh, wrong way. Apparently, he's going to go deal with that Zerg drone, uh, while this probe continues to deal with that probe, or that probe <laughs> continues to deal with this probe, depending on which teams <laughs> we're looking at. And the expansion is scouted out here. He does zap it a little bit. He's like, which is totally going to destroy that hatchery right there. That's the that's the game changer right there. Do have this Overlord finally in this bottom position? See if it starts making its way across. Probably just going to. If I, if I was guessing, if he actually pays attention to his overlords... I would camp it, like, right here. Yeah, right there. A little bit closer, but I'd guess he's going to put it in around the six or eight minutes. See if there's an expansion really well. That tank does manage to pull off a couple shots so that the Kim Hyung Jun is aware of that. Does snipe the hatchery, pick him up. Ooh, oh. gets one Ooh. of them. And this is not looking good. I, I, I don't know what purple's doing. Purple... Right Looked like he was going to engage, but decided he to pull back. He doesn't want to engage by himself. Don't engage by yourself. He looks like and he's going to try. Luke, Kim Kyung Jun does go ahead and drop in the main. And doing a lot of damage to this hive here. Going to try and snipe out this baneling nest. Those zerglings are causing things to pull back. Stim expires. Re-stims. These medevacs are going to be really busy. Here oh, comes nice up. fungal. Ooh. That was a nice fungal. With those zerglings in the way... These things are toast. Yeah, that's gone. A very effective <laughs> and, yeah. drop, though. All right, we do have some Colossi in the mix now, and it looks and like they're saying go, go. saying it's time to engage. Looks. They are getting Ultralisks out, which is not bad. At this point in the game, Ultralisks against this kind of army, I think, would do actually fairly well. Fairly well. I would like to see these aren't really <laughs> heavy stimmed marines. There's aren't are heavily upgraded infantry. Not any upgrades on the mech, but the Protoss is running around one one with and armor and weapons. Purple is way out of position. 
beginning. He needs to get back here. and defend. The worst possible time to move out with that army. This queen is totally dead. And Teal does not want to engage. He can engage with just infestors. Uh, there's, this is bad news. And here they come, and the Zerglings are coming in, and him from the back, this is a very good a nice position for the team. Maneuver. This tank is in the way, though. Those Immortals are going to soak up a lot of damage. We are seeing nice fungals go out from this army, and this is just getting... A lot of infested Ooh. wings get dropped here. Which is and not it looks bad. Like Kim and John they, it looks and like they defended that push fairly well. He did lose the gold, though. He did lose the gold, but... Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> we still have a line of tanks here against the wall, too. I would be very iffy about continuing to push forward if I were this. And they are pulling back. He did lose his Colossi, though. Kim Hyung Jung did manage to snipe those down. That could have been bad, but he did get the nice round on the, his opponent. But we are getting Ultralis out. And that will be very Ooh, good against the tanks. Investor, got pushed forward by these stalkers. And oh. just, Taken out. I wonder if that's considered murder. You know, my voice is cracked. I wonder if that's considered murder for. Uh, <laughs> for I don't uh, think the Protoss really care. And the Ultralist will be very helpful. Right Do here. Do pull into that bunker though. That will add, provide quite a bit of support. These are actually getting snapped really quickly. And does the, lose another infestor. Those are pr providing, proving to be pretty costly losses for apps at this point. Couldn't find the words there for a second. Yeah. Got a the gold expansion down. This fourth is back up, and Apps is taking this fifth. Uh, Infurion Ox is planning to expand to third. again, but this position looks like it might be. And it did get spotted by Stim. This I don't <laughs> know. I think someone's going to move to take one of these out. I wonder if so he's going to try putting a cannon there or something. I don't, that's not going to really do anything. But he's putting a pile on there. Looks like we're seeing the drop speed, the speed boost for the warp prism I coming think that's out the of the observer. I think it does both, to be honest with you. Whatever. Observer. Yep. Warp prism one is cool though. It makes it go really fast. It should just it, it should just take like three rounds with marines to kill one. It should we got another drop here. Sorry we missed that. Kim Kyung Jun, very sneaky here, is forcing uh, and nice Apps bungles. to pull all these ultralists and infestors back. He does take care of this drop fairly well. Does snipe a, uh, another infestor though. And the ultralists are. Oh, those minerals! Wow. They're almost <laughs> gone. <isn't> they? <laughs> and they're blocked. <laughs> I was like, what are those ultralists doing? And we do see him taking out this gold right here. Very nice two-pronged attack. Against one player, I think in if you segregate your army, that is what you must do. You have to focus down one opponent. And they do take out that expansion. You don't want to overextend yourself. Taking out that expansion is good. If you take out that expansion, then just then just go back and keep macroing. You have you the level three infantry co upgrades coming out for Ooh. Kim Kyung Jun. Those are going to make those marines very very potent. We need to see more upgrades for the other players. Kim seems to be the only guy doing upgrades. Uh, Infurion Ox did manage to cancel Stimaholic's expansion, but it looks like Kim Hyung Jun and Stimaholic plan on taking out this expansion before it can get up and running. I am running out. So that's what Stim says. And look at that mineral. Nice, line. nice Marauder intensity. This is going to be so huge. Look at he's about to lose so many pro drones right there or whatever. And ooh, those, those ooh from the back he does take out quite a bit. Without his partner there, but he is holding him off. He's losing a lot of probes That's right a here. A lot of probes. This is. And now it. we're gonna see all these stalkers moving. It'll probably be enough to drive everything here back. Do see a pullback from Abs and Infuri Infuriox. Uh, this is pretty big. It looks like he's planning to re-expand here, but uh, wow, this he expansion is so gonna go down pretty quickly <laughs> as well. He's got a probe in here doing battling. That's cool. Killer probes. Yep. Don't expand. We're so staying. he is. Got, he's got the name of the game down at this point. Uh, in Furiox, I apparently didn't notice that the command center was planning to land there. And they are pinging. Do, oh, yeah. They do realize that they need to take out this expansion. 
Stimaholic goes ahead and cannibalizes this. And it this looks like Team 1 is kind of um, extending themselves because we have Red's team on the very left and we have Blue yeah. coming on the very right. They, uh, the other, uh, Their opponent's army isn't that great right now, but they still would well, they're want Stim to stay Tim together. Kim Jong-jun is choosing to go ahead and snipe this... Uh, this expansion here is not up and running yet, but we do have Colossi moving from the back. He's gonna have to stay on his toes. And this Colossi are about to get sniped, and oh, they're on their well, way. And Ultralists are on the way in. And they didn't Doing take a out the very Colossi. Good job, actually. That's why you want to keep your guys together because Ooh, that's not good. he just took out a lot of Kim Hyun Jun's army, and his opponent can do yeah, anything about it. is full. They need to get out. Lost a lot and there goes Kim's right army, there. and so now it's only Stim's army. So that's why you want to keep them together. He totally got out of position, but he's Terran, so he has a full army. <laughs> uh, we do have Stimaholics just a single screen away from another expansion. Uh, <laughs> he has not chosen not to invest a whole lot in these. Actually, we've got a lot of idle drones just chilling there. Uh, and Infuriox is choosing <laughs> to re-expand here. This, these have definitely been the hot, bo hot spot expansions for this game. Got a couple stemmed units on the charge up in here, and that expansion is going That's down. Toast, yeah. And then we do have a confrontation over here against the back wall. This is mined out though, so it looks like we have a couple roving colossi just looking to do some damage. <laughs> nice Colossi micro. Yeah. That cannon is toast. Oh, there yeah, it goes. How are they getting vision? They're Colossi. They see over it. They're that <laughs> tall. <laughs> and it looks like no counterattack yet. We do have Colossi up in the main of Stimaholic. Which is proving to do decent damage. Yeah, Not it's really. starting to shut things down here. Does and he have blink? Does not have blink research, but he does have some of his own colossi up in the battle. Uh, these things are stuck against this chasm now, and they are. And go they will be able to. Yep. Sucks. And we do have something. Kim Hyung Jun did manage to press on Apps Gold expansion yet again. Was able to push it out. This is actually a pretty scary force. Uh, these need to pull and put it get in the siege mode really quick. We are though. getting nice fungals out. I don't know if it will be enough. Kim's army is pretty much down. We do have uh, Stim's army, but it does not look like. Yeah, that that was. There's so much firepower with those stalkers. Uh, he's losing these infestors now. We don't. We're not getting a whole lot of upgrades for Team Two. No, I it's, think that's what really did it as well. We have one one still. Um, yeah. And they are leaving the game. There goes oh. Infriox and Abs. Uh, great comeback. I thought they were totally screwed when apps was on five bases and uh, yeah I think it, with upgrades they could have pulled through at that end confrontation right there mm -hmm. uh, he did seem to suicide those colossi yeah up into he, here. he killed a couple pylons and a couple and cannons a couple it really cannons. wasn't yeah that much so mm. well <laughs> good game uh, Kim Hyung Jun good game Stimaholic thank you for the replay once again uh, Excellent army composition. I would have liked to see Banshees a little more. I think they would have been very effective in that mix because there was, from uh, Teal, the only thing that could hit the air were the Infestors. Yeah, and for Team 2, just like a previous game we casted, I think it would be better if you were to go for the Broodlords instead of the Ultralists. I think those would be more effective. Yeah, I don't know. You're probably right, Because he did not have Blink, and he didn't. He only had, like, one Viking the whole game. Oh, he had three right here at the end, but... Yeah, yeah. so it would have... Not a lot of anti-air. So anyway, I think Brood Lords would have gone good, but... That went, that's not how the chips yeah. fell out of the bag. Uh, I am Phobos, once again. I am Gent. Thank you for tuning in. We hope to catch you again. Uh, check us out at Bronze League Gaming. Just search that, and you'll pull us up. Uh, also, follow us on, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, you know, we're, we're pretty happening we're guys. We're on Twitter now? Uh, yeah, I have a Twitter. Oh. <laughs> uh, my Twitter is Phobos172, if you just search for that on Twitter, it should pull me up. Yeah. That'd be cool. Uh, yeah. Anyway, 
Thanks for joining us, and this is Phobos signing and out. And peace. I was going to say something, but I forgot.